16 months ago, I decided to install a Sense home energy monitor. Since that time, it saved me $353.81. Between a shorting extension cord and devices that were always on, that's what the Sense home energy monitor has done for me. After running this thing for a little while, it's going to come up with different bubbles and it'll tell you what your always on consumption is. That's devices that are always leaching power to some degree, like a TV, uh, anything on standby. You can go through then at that point and decide which devices you want on, which devices you maybe don't want on. And in the case of me, I actually found an extension cord with a frayed end that was using 80 watts of power doing absolutely nothing. Whether or not it was shorting on the inside, I don't care, but uh, an extension cord with nothing plugged into it that's using power to me, that's just a fire hazard, so I chopped this thing up and got it out of the house. Another good point about this device is the power consumption is extremely accurate. Anytime I've compared it to my electricity bill from the utility company, it's been very, very close, within a fraction of a percent. With this device, you always have a nice live power consumption graph, so if you're trying to see which device is using power long before the bubbles show up, you can go into this thing anytime you want and see what the live consumption of the power inside your house is. It's always very nice to go into the summary section of this device as well. And you got nice clean green bars that you can select by the day, the week, the month, whatever you want, year, and see what the overall power consumption of your house is. It's also capable of solar monitoring, which is pretty awesome. If you've got any solar panels, you can buy these add-on clamps that go on and it'll attach up to your solar so you can actually meter what's coming in and what's going out. Now, if you don't have solar, but you do still want to use the clamps for something else, you can. In the case of my house, I've set these things up so that one clamp is actually monitoring what my computer setup is using, uh, which is an always on contributor. And the other one is monitoring my hydroponics grow that I'm running in the house. You also do get a monthly report email of just a brief summary of what's going on with inside your home, which is pretty nice. It's an easy way to kind of set it, forget it, and if you see a dramatic increase in something like you're always on, which is actually what triggered me to go find this extension cord that I mentioned earlier. One of the bad points about this device is the long wait time for it to detect your electronics. So before you get these fancy orange bubble screen where it shows you all your devices and what's happening, it's going to take some time for the device to figure out what's what and for you to be able to identify them. Another bad point about that is it may identify different components inside your device. The fridge, for example, might, just, might not just show up as a fridge. It might identify the motor inside the fridge. It might identify the compressor inside the fridge. Or if your uh, fridge or freezer has a defrost cycle, that might be another separate component. So chasing down some of these things can become a little bit tricky. For the most part, the app has been pretty bulletproof, but there is times where both on the web and on the phone app, it's gonna go into this kind of like this lock mode where it just seems to never get to the, the page that you're chasing or the page you're after. Now this happens, I've found, if you've got this device up and running for a while, uh, maybe on a second monitor and you're trying to just keep an eye on your home, if you do find this happens, it's an easy fix. Just log back out or close the page, log back in and life is good again. My overall impression about this device, the app is super easy to use, very intuitive. It doesn't take much and you'll be exploring and knowing what the Sense Energy Monitor is providing you for information. Another plus side about this device, which I really like, I haven't had any outages of this device either. Power's gone off. It pops right back up, recovers, and I've had no issues with the device after that point in time. You can log in remotely anytime you like, and that's been bulletproof as well. So should you buy this device? Is it worth it? What do I think that way? If you're going to use the information you get from this device to make some uh, decisions about the power consumption in your home, I think it's a win. For me, the always on, uh, I mean, my device is almost paid for here. My retail price, you can see it here, 439.62. And the number I mentioned earlier, 353.81 is what I've saved to date so far based on the information I've got. So it's not gonna be long for me and it's going to be paid for and any other information it provides me past that point in time is literally free money or it's free information. If you're looking for something that's going to immediately provide you with what power consumption is on what circuit inside your home, it's probably not for you. You're probably better off going with an energy monitor that has clips on every rail inside your panel box 
and that's going to be a little bit more instantaneous. This is something that's still being developed, it's still being worked on, they're still finding the algorithms of what circuit does what or what electrical signatures identify different devices, so that's taken some time. I think the people that would probably benefit from this the most would be anybody that's running kind of an off-grid setup or something outside on a limited utility basis. This would be a really good tool for you to have in your arsenal. It's going to identify high power consumption stuff that you can quickly eliminate. Plus, if you're running like a solar setup, it's going to be very easy to determine very quickly what you require and what your uh, consumption is. About the only thing that you're going to have to look out for if you're going to install this device is it has two clamps that kind of go over top of the or clamp around the main two supply lines into your home. You'll need to make sure that you have room inside your panel box. Now, if you don't, if you're not a crazy do-it-yourselfer guy like me, you might have to get an electrician to come out there and put this thing into your box as well, which is probably the better thing to do than what I did and just go ham at it. If you do get this device inside your home and you'd like these bubbles to show up a little faster, there is a bit of a workaround. As I mentioned previously, the solar clamps, if you put those things in, that's gonna help you get a devices identified sooner. You can also pick up some TP-Link plugs and what these things will do is they'll actually communicate with the sense box as well, letting them know what the live power consumption is and those bubbles will show up immediately within the next day. Another great perk of those things is uh, if you're suspecting a device of sucking power on the always on, this will update the very next day. Not only will that update as well the next day, but the always on for the clamps did the same for me as well. For the average home user, you'll probably end up with this thing for about a year, probably two before it pays for itself, as long as you're making some decisions based on the information you're getting. If you're sitting on the fence wondering if you should buy a home energy monitor, I really like the Sense device. I think it's great. I probably would be just as happy getting one that has a clamp on everything else based on the information it provides. Although I don't know if that one provides you with an always on, Quite simply put, that's the feature that for me is the biggest selling feature. Knowing which devices are leaching power and being able to do something or control the amount of electricity just being sucked out of my house for no reason. If you've got one of these things inside your home, I'd love to hear about your experience and identifying different devices. Now if you do decide to pick one of these things up, feel free to use the affiliate link down below. It gives me a kickback and helps support the channel. Link is down in the description.